just about set to kick off. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Levine fields it for 17. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second and five. Ball on their own 34. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his receiver. And he is drilled at the 38. fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. From their own 39-yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. to convert here on another third down. the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Four gets seven yards on the play. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. the stop around the 29 yard line and this is the 10th play of the drive and he's level at the 19 yard line so it's second down and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down the 17-yard line. The defense snuffed out the option play pretty well there. Yeah, but they didn't do it quickly enough. The quarterback decided to keep this one himself, and the hole was just big enough that he was able to get the first down. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From the 18-yard line, second down. He 
taken down at about the 19-yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. And this is the 14th play of the drive. As a man, he'll lose mid yards. A four yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get go. They're going to try a long field goal here. This will make it a field goal game. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 37. Kirk, today we get to watch one of the great wide receivers in college football. Mixon's footwork, his great hands, his speed, he is a dangerous offensive weapon. No doubt, Brad. He is really one of the most exciting players to watch in college football. He catches everything that's thrown his way and is a legitimate deep threat downfield to make big plays for this offense. He's going to face some double, sometimes even triple team coverage. And I think today, this defense, they might do a decent job of slowing him down, but eventually, he's too dangerous. He's going to make some big plays. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's at the 40. He's got his man across the middle. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First and 10. Ball on the 11. There are three quarters remaining. The Mustang with a three-point lead. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Ready. 390. Run, 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 run. Pearson on the give. He gets hit out of bounds at the eight-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the eight. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it 31. Defense and their short yardage package. They go to the ground and he stops short. That brings us fourth and three. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Wheeler looks ready to kick this one off. Levine takes it at the 20. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes it out to about the 43.
from their own 43 yard line. First down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a DD five on the play. That makes it second and six. out quickly to the tailback and he's tackled at the 43 yard line that brings us third and ten. third down and they need to get it inside the 47 He fires. Complete. And down he goes at the 18-yard line. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Pitch, and now he's got the corner, and he's taken down at the 19. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. And he throws it away. So we're looking at another third down here. And he throws right away. Finds a man. Touchdown. converts the extra point. A nice seven-play, 66-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 10-3. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 32. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 31-yard line, second down. tries to buy some time and he's gonna be sacked you can't take sacks like that as a quarterback you just can't if you can't find a receiver get out of the pocket and throw the ball away Looks middle, got his back. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. 
Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second and ten. Ball of the 35. He's hit immediately, so it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. That's a great tackle at the 29-yard line. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Stover is back deep to return. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 45-yard line. The Mustangs have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. You can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. They're about four yards away here on second down. Slings it right. He's got it with room to run. Steps out of bounds at the 31-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at about the 31. Got a man. Watch out here. Inside the 10. And a huge touchdown play. be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And now he's got room to run. They'll bring him down at the 42. The Mustangs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Throws it deep, and it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. Missed tackle. So we've played two quarters and a 10 10 tie in this game. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. These two defenses so far, they've been everything they've been advertised to be. They've stopped the run. They've limited the passing game. They apply pressure at the right time. 
it's going to be hard to find holes to move the ball at all in the second half. Yeah, and sometimes it's really bad offense, and sometimes you can also look at those holes and they come open and all of a sudden they close really fast. And, and that's what you're seeing. A lot of guys that are really athletic, really fast, they know where to be. And a lot of guys that you'll be seeing playing on Sundays. I mean, it's just a lot of talent to overcome and you got to be in the right position, but then you got to beat those great players that are also in the right position. So I, I expect more of the same, but you know, which team can break through and make a huge play to, to take the other one, you know, off guard a little bit and, and make that big play. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I, I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four ax handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. and it's picked off inside the 30 the ball is loose and they fall on the loose ball wow very close to turning it over but they'll keep possession of the football way to play heads up out there that's just one more reason to play to the whistle boy that was close to disaster their own 15-yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. Gain of six yards. That brings them second and five. Push him out around the 43 yard line. First down. From their own 43 yard line. First down. Here we go, Chuck. Let's go. Let's go. Kill it. Motion me out. He's out of bounds at the 45 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Ready. Green and eight. Green and eight. Caught out of the open. He goes out of bounds at the 48 yard line. That'll make it third and five. Third and five situation. Ball on their own 48. To his wideout, and he is drilled at the 40. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He 
He's taken down around the 31 yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and short yardage situation here. Second down and one. He's at the 20. Makes his way out to about the 15. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Hands off to the right and is brought down to the backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 16. The 10. Gains his way to the seven yard line. And here's the 14th play of the drive. Gets it. He's in space. He steps up at about the five-yard line. They chose to throw the ball here on third and short, and it proved effective as the little dump pass got them a new set of downs. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Touchdown! great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he hits the PAT. It was a 13-play, 85-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a 7-on-7 drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. The score now, 17-10. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The Mustangs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes it to the 37. First and 10, ball on the 37. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So the sack makes this third and very long. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. And that'll make it fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Stover, the return man. Stover takes it to 36, and he's hammered down. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Mustangs with a touchdown lead. just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Oh. 
Runs outside for a nice game. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it 33. He's at the 20, the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. He got the ball, and he was gone. And let me add one thing. The offensive line deserves some credit here. I mean, they opened up a huge hole for him to run through. Tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 52-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Wheeler looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Mustangs have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. on the play. They come out on an empty backfield. What a bit of big play by the defense. He can't hold it. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. Scrambling around. There's a fumble. And the ball bounces out of bounds. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just misfired. They run it for the first, and he stops. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Decent pickup. Pearson gains about four yards on the play. The Mustangs will use their first time out of the half. Here we go. 
brought down right around the 14-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Play fake, looking to run. And down he goes at the 10-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. From the 10-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made right around the two-yard line. And he gets the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Oh, here we go. Oh. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. A little over a minute in the game. He lets it fly. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Steps up. Oh, it almost picked off. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Fourth and long here after the sack. Stover is back deep to return the punt. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 36. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. From the 39-yard line, second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding Green. down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. Mixon's performance today, I think nationally, Kirk, is going to take a hit as him being a superstar. What do you think? Yeah, I think it could hurt him, but at the same time, the team won. He didn't have a great game, but the fact that his team was able to kind of rally and still come up with a win, I still think could help his cause as far as some of the national recognition. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.